All right. Let us try to understand the concept of pseudo account or sometimes also known as dummy account. So what is a pseudo account? It is basically a dummy name given to a trading account. A more precise definition would be that it is just like a pointer to an actual trading account. Now to understand why it is there, you need to understand how the design of AutoTrader web started. The concept of pseudo account was introduced primarily for automation users. It helps them to make their trading setup independent of the trading account. Now this can be best understood with an example. So let's take a look at this diagram. Here we have a user. You know, it could be his trading strategy or he could be trading manually. Now, all operations that happen in AutoTrader web, they happen on a pseudo account. So user or his trading strategy is only aware of the pseudo account, not aware of the actual trading account in which the orders go. So, for example, if the a request is sent to place an order, the request information will have pseudo account mentioned in it and that request comes to AutoTrader server. Now AutoTrader server looks up in its settings and finds a mapping to that pseudo account. So what it tries to find is which is the actual trading account to which this particular pseudo account maps to. Once it finds the trading account then it looks at which broker that account belongs to or to be very specific, which is the trading platform that account is using. And based on the trading platform, AutoTrader server will load appropriate module for that trading platform. It could be Kite, Upstocks, Ellis Blue Ant and so on. And the order will be sent to appropriate trading terminal or appropriate stock broker. Now how it helps achieve account independence? is imagine a scenario you started to trade with broker A but you realize that there is some outage with broker A right so what you can do in such scenario is you can log on to AutoTrader web's settings and map your pseudo account to a trading account from broker B so without changing a single line of code in your strategy without changing any, without even touching your automation setup, your orders will now go into a new trading account belonging to broker B. So in this way, you have safeguarded your trading system from a broker's outage. And we were able to do this only because of pseudo accounts, because pseudo account is not an actual trading account. And pseudo account is the only thing that your strategy or you as a trader depend on. We can always map the pseudo account to a different trading account. So that's why this pseudo account concept was added to achieve independence from trading account. Now we have seen how it is useful to achieve independence in your automation. But it also has other advantages for those users who are trading manually. What advantages does it give? It gives you a facility to give a meaningful name to your trading account. So let's say if you're trading into five different accounts, you can give a meaningful name to that trading account. So you can say you can give the name by the owner of the trading account or any useful or easy to remember name so that you don't have to remember the login IDs of those trading accounts. We will take a look at it. So I'll just quickly go back to touch back upon the previous trading account creation screen. Uh, it's important. When you create a new trading account, there is an option available to auto create pseudo account. We do recommend you to do this. But those of you who are advanced users who understand how the system works, they can untick it. If you untick it, the system will not create pseudo account. Okay. Now, those of you who have created a pseudo account by default, they can always delete it. Now, I'm going to delete this pseudo account, which was created by default.
and I will recreate a pseudo account with some meaningful name. Say I will call it my zero the account for example. Trading account. As of now I only have one so that's why it's showing only one trading account to map to and I want it to be live because I want to trade on it. So I will save it. If I go back to pseudo accounts page, you can see that pseudo account name is Zeroda. So all the trading will happen on this account number Zeroda. Obviously this account maps to an actual trading account. So the orders will go into the trading account only. If you go to the portfolio page, you can also see the name is given as Zeroda. It's easy to remember if you're trying to enter orders, you know, you can also see over here the easy to remember meaningful name is available. Now, those of you who are using automation APIs, now they also need to remember that in the pseudo account field, they need to pass the key or account number as zero da or whatever name that you will give. Another important feature for pseudo accounts is if you go to pseudo account and if you go to the edit screen by selecting the account, there is an option called live. You can untick it to stop all the trading that is happening in your account. This is something many people are not aware of. Once you mark the account as non live, the system will not accept orders or any operations into that particular pseudo account. All right. So I hope you have understood this concept. If you haven't, there is a good explanation given in the user guide. We do recommend you to read it because once you understand the concept, it's pretty easy to use the system. Thank you so much.